Hey guys, it's Jay Drummer VHA here bringing you a new video. So the great folks over at Real Link sent me over one of their new cameras to check out and show you guys. This thing is PoE, it's 5x on the zoom, and of course, like I already said, it is 4K 8 megapixel camera. So we're going to check it out and see what all we can do with it. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. I did see it on Amazon, as you can see here, uh, for about $94. That's actually a pretty good deal for an 8 megapixel 4K 5X zoom dome camera. If this thing is anything like the other Real Link cameras that I've done videos on, then this thing will be super easy to set up and very easy to get added into Home Assistant. Can't wait. All right, so let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, for starters, of course, we will unbox the camera. Uh, once we do that, then uh, we'll get this camera installed. Once we have it installed, we'll get it added into the Rio Link app. Then I'll kind of go over the config options that are available to us in the Rio Link app. Once we do that, we'll get it added into Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I'll just kind of go over my final thoughts. So let's get started. All right, so uh, let's get this thing unboxed. Uh, on the outside of the box here, you can see there's got their normal uh, information that Real Link always seems to list on the outside of their box. They do a pretty good job of that, giving you uh, some of the specs and uh, features available with the uh, camera itself. Uh, but let's get this thing opened up. So you get your instructions, uh, usually some uh, security stickers and uh, of course a mounting bracket uh, to kind of get you started on getting this thing installed. Then you'll get your uh, network cable since this is a PoE camera. Uh, we got anchors and screws for mounting this to the uh, ceiling or wherever you're going to mount it the waterproof boot for the network cable and then of course we have the camera itself and there it is it's got the nice little uh, dome camera it's all enclosed in this uh, super heavy duty uh, material so uh, we'll kind of go over all of the information on that here in just a second uh, but it's got some pretty cool specs that we're going to kind of talk about. But as far as the camera goes, that's pretty much it. There's no actual mounting bracket for this camera. You'll basically unscrew the uh, top part of this camera. It'll pull out and then you'll have access to the four holes that allow you to mount it to wherever you're going to mount it. So it's pretty easy to uh, set up there. All right, so as far as the specs go on this thing, let's kind of run down through most of it. Like I said, this is a 4K 8 megapixel camera. Uh, runs at 25 frames per second, so that's pretty standard on those 4K cameras, uh, at least in this range. Uh, the cool thing about this one is it is 5X optical zoom, which is pretty awesome. Um, that's a pretty nice little feature there. Uh, the video format, of course, is H.265. Uh, all right, so for the field of view, so it looks like uh, 96 degrees on the horizontal field of view and 69 degrees on the vertical. So that's pretty cool there. Of course, it does uh, audio recording, so it has a microphone built in. This does have a micro SD card slot, which is uh, holds up to 256 gigs max. So that's pretty nice. One thing I was looking to see if it mentioned, I don't see it here, is... Uh, the clear plastic for the dome here, I don't see it listed, but it's like super heavy duty. I think they call it IK10. So that pretty much covers most of uh, the specs here that I can see. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. We'll get this thing installed. All right, so I'm gonna install this on the side of my house. Uh, this is where I installed one of my uh, Panoob cameras. 
uh, not too long ago. Um, so we've done a video on that one as well. But we're basically going to uh, swap it out with this real link camera. So I'm kind of excited about that. Should go pretty easy. It's just going to basically um, pull this one out and put the new one right in its place. So it shouldn't be too difficult to install. Here's the camera completely removed with the network cable kind of hanging out there. So we're basically just going to plug in this new one and then mount it right up in the same place. And as you can see here, I've kind of got it mounted where I uh, wanted it. This will give me the ability to uh, basically before I put the lid on it, I'll want to kind of uh, get it added into the app. That way I'll be able to uh, set up the angle and uh, view and everything the way I want it to. Because that's what you'll do before you put that uh, enclosure back on. And then, of course, as you can see here, this is kind of uh, with everything uh, screwed in and covered back up. So it looks pretty good there. Fits right in without too much trouble. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. We'll get this thing added into the app. All right, so... Uh, the one thing I really like about Reolink cameras is they are so easy to get added into the Reolink app. Basically, um, you'll just open up the app and assuming that you have your camera online plugged into your home network, it should automatically find it without any trouble at all. And as you can see here down at the bottom, it's already showing up. Uninitialized device, uh, camera one, so that's that new camera. We'll go ahead and select that here and then it's going to ask us to create a device password. So we'll do that here. Now we can give it a name, so I'm just gonna call it Side Door because that's kind of the location of this camera. And that's it. Now we have our camera installed and added into our uh, Real Link app. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll kind of go over the configuration. All right, so uh, configuration pretty similar to all of the other real link cameras that we've done um, you have your uh, PTZ settings here that you can use to zoom in obviously this is not a PTZ camera but we do have that 5x optical zoom so that we'll be able to use the zoom feature here to kind of zoom in if we want so I kind of like that that's pretty cool Uh, under device info, of course, you have all of your information that's pretty standard. Uh, it gives you everything you need to know for your camera. And then under, uh, let's see, detection alarm, this is where you can go and set the sensitivity or the detection zone. Kind of set all those here. object size if you wanted to change it from a person motion to vehicle motion you can do that here as well uh, on the camera recording if you had a SD card in here which we do not currently uh, you can kind of set some of the settings here as far as overriding or a schedule uh, you know for recording if you want to set that uh, for push notifications, of course, you can enable it. And once you do that, then, of course, you have some uh, other features there that you can go in and make changes to. Um, I don't use push notifications normally. You also have the ability to do email alerts if you want. So you can uh, add in your email address and get email alerts uh, straight from the app itself. Other than that, um, one of the other features, I guess you can go under advanced here. And that's where they have like the user management um, and you can uh, set up infrared lights or, uh, from auto if you want or anything like that. And you can also restore the camera if you needed to default it or anything like that. One thing I forgot to look at was the, uh, the display settings up here at the top. This is where you have the ability to flip the camera if you wanted to. Uh, don't necessarily have a reason to do that. 
Uh, you could change the quality and um, if you wanted to move the date down here to the bottom, you can, and as well as you can disable that watermark if you don't want the real link to be listed there on the camera as well. Uh, you also have privacy mask. So if you wanted to set a privacy mask in here where it will ignore a certain area of the camera view, it can do that as well with that privacy mask. So that's pretty nice there too. Um, if you uh, want to go full screen, you can do that. And of course, you still have the ability to zoom in if you want and all that. So it looks pretty good there as well. But that's pretty much it as far as the settings go. Uh, you also have the ability to access the camera by IP address from your computer. And you'll be able to do all these settings here that you're doing in the app on the computer as well. I'm not going to go through that this time around just because we've done it a few times. And it's the exact same settings that you can change here. So there's no real reason to go through it. Uh, there as well let's go ahead and move on to that next step and we'll get this thing added into home assistant all right so here we are in um, configuration under the integration section in home assistant and basically we want to add in an on vif device because that's what this is so we'll go ahead and select add integration and type in onvif should come right up from there we'll click on that let it do its little search as you can see it didn't find anything but that's okay we're going to manually configure onvif device here and this is where we can give it a name we'll call it side door for the host we'll put in the ip address so right now it's 10.10.10.230 uh, is the ip address of my device and of course for the OnVIF port on the Reolink camera, it's 8,000. That is the default port. So if you don't change it, it should still be 8,000. For the username and password, this is uh, the username and password that we created when we first set up the camera. So we'll add that in here. We'll hit submit. And there we go, success. It found the camera uh, based on the IP address. So we are good to go. Hit finish here, we select camera, we can kind of view that. Now with Home Assistant, uh, for the most part, I could only ever get these to access on the substream, not the mainstream. So we'll click on the substream uh, entity here. Give it a second to come up and there it is. There is our camera feed. So everything is now working in Home Assistant just as expected. So that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so the Rio Link RLC842A. That's a pretty nice little camera. Uh, it's under 100 bucks, uh, 5x zoom, 4K, 8 megapixels. You almost can't beat it. I mean, Real Link right out of the box. They're super easy to install. They're very easy to get set up in the Real Link app. And of course, they all support OnViv, which makes them very easy to get added into Home Assistant as well. So for me, that's a huge plus. Um, so I definitely think this camera is, is worth looking at. If you're looking for some dome cameras, then this camera is hard to miss. And as always, if you're not interested in this particular camera, head over to Rio Link's website and see what other cameras they have available because they have tons of different camera options available to you. And I guarantee you'll find one that suits what you're looking for. As always, I want to thank you for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my spring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you haven't had a chance, check out all the smart home products that Smonet has to offer. I'll have the link in the description below. You definitely want to go over there and see what deals they currently have running.
And if you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, check out Robinhood. I'll have the link in the description for that as well. If you sign up for an account with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.